In this lesson, we want to look at the characteristics of an elder that have to do with his family relationships and his relationships across the gender divide. The list are these. He is to be the husband of one wife, he's to have children that are behaved, and he's to manage his household well. That first one, the husband of one wife, is broader than what it might seem on first uh, look. He is to be a man who's not flirtatious. Really, it, it means that he is to be a one-woman kind of man. You see, a man could uh, refrain from having an actual affair, but he could be quite flirtatious, and that could affect how he ministers to um, others. I've heard a number of times of elders who are a little too physical in their interactions with women, maybe a little too handsy, you might say. Many times this has grown into an intimacy that has become inappropriate and at times can lead towards uh, very inappropriate taking sexual advantage of someone under their pastoral leadership. Of course, an out and out affair is clearly disqualifying for a man uh, either to become an elder or to continue as an elder, but an, uh, an elder needs to guard his heart in this area. There are just too many examples of high-profile teachers and pastors who have fallen uh, to the disgrace of the church. We've heard stories of, uh, also of, of elders who've neglected their family, maybe not in the sexual area, but just in their absence from being involved in their family. Uh, the scripture is clear about an elder who has children who are behaved well and manage their household well. I've talked to a number of adults who will tell you very clearly that my father loved the church. He loved serving the Lord, but somewhere along the line, I just not didn't get the picture that he loved us children. He just didn't spend time because all of his time was spent at the church or being a, a preacher at conferences. Um, an elder needs to be actively involved in the process of managing his household well. Having said that, we also understand that uh, who of us hasn't had teenagers who have rebelled to some degree and as they were experimenting with trying to become independent, and some of that is natural to happen, but it's the overall character of a man that's in stake. Is that, that's what we're looking at. Does he have the character of a man whose children in general are behaving well, or uh, the character of a man whose household is... Uh, doing well, or is it his household characterized as being one of disarray? Uh, to be sure, these things are subjective when looked on on the outside, but my concern with you taking this course now is not so that you can evaluate others, but so that you can evaluate yourself. Don't go light on this area. It's absolutely important for a, how a man uh, handles his household situation would certainly reflect on how well he's gonna handle situations in the family of God, the local church. So study these things well, because to fail in these areas will very clearly disqualify a person for being an elder. Mm -hmm.